Alright guys. Woo! New fork day. <laughs> let's not get hey, let's not get super excited at an eighty-nine dollar fork. Hey, it's but the cheapest we could find. The cheapest fork we found on Amazon. Right off the bat, I'd like to say it says 26, 27.5, and 29. <laughs> Why is that? It's all three, baby. <laughs> is it really? It's all three. <laughs> is it really? You guys ready for this install? Initial impressions? Let's do this. Possible thumbnail. Hit that like button. Get off my hand! Oh my love! Wolf Tech Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tech Videos episode. And on today's episode, yes, you read the you thumbnail correct. Correct. Hi, Mimi. All right. We found, that's the brand. We found and we searched for I the I thought someone else was here. I didn't know about it. We searched for the cheapest air fork with rebound that we could find on Amazon. $89.99. This is what it's you free get. Free cheap. Free shipping. So guys, on uh, today's episode, we're going to be doing the initial impressions. We're going to mm -hmm. be weighing this fork. We're going to take all the air out of it, expand it back out, see if it indeed has the amount of travel that it uh, says it does. And we're going to be installing it on the GT Aggressor Pro. And once we get done doing all of the ins and outs with this fork, and we're going to be doing, is. and the what have you is, we're going to be doing a little bit of everybody's favorite segment. Go ahead. We're going to be doing a little bit of mail time. That's whenever we open up mail from all over the world, uh, from all the Wolf Tick Nation supporters out there who send us a little bit of mail, and we show you guys what we got. Homegirl from down under. Oh, Joe It's Joe, our, it's Joe LaRosi. That smells like jerky. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into. Become part of the Wolf Tick Nation. Let's open up this fork and let's talk about it. Yeah. All right. Hi, Mimi. What? Hi, Mimi. Oh, 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 oh. oh. a little it's extra, a little straggler. Look at this fork. Now the brand is listed. Hi, Mimi. This is a tank. That's a tank right there. Tank. Look at that. So tank slash Hi, Mimi. Uh, the TF three hundred. Hi, Mimi slash tank slash TF three hundred. We'll have to do it all. And remember, guys, on a later video, we're going to be doing the uh, real time review and rating of this fork. Okay, this is the initial impression. So. First off, the fork feels stupid light. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's very light. I like the stickers, okay? Now, what I really appreciate is the blue cap over here. We've got a, a lockout feature. I like that blue. To, let's see, we're all the way opened up. Oh, that's... Damn, that's a lot. I don't even know how much that is. I don't think there's any uh, damping with this thing, but look at this, look. We've got an aluminum, okay, aluminum air cap. On this guy I like that hopefully the threads are good enough so we can actually see how much air we've gotten it I'm gonna keep that off for right now got a little bit of a uh, little graph there on the leg or on the stanchion I like that with the black stanchions always nice and classy keeping it classy we've got a compression ring and compression rings are very important because whenever we're doing the real-time review on these things I want to see you guys want to see how much travel we're actually using up and from experience, and this one might be different, but this graph usually doesn't mean crap because there's 100 on there, there's 80. This fork is supposed to have 100 millimeters of travel, and the cool thing about it is it's got a 9 millimeter quick release. And now this fork has rebound. Uh. Uh oh. The hell it does. Uh oh. Did you get uh? Did you get ripped off again? The hell it does, Wolf Tick Nation. What the hell? It says this thing has rebound. It does not have rebound. Oh, that's some bull. <laughs> I will show you guys the listing right now. Okay, so that's a bummer. That's a bummer, man. $89.99, no rebound, but it is air. So how about we start getting to the uh, specs of this thing? I knew that was too good to be true, guys. I knew it was way too good to be true as soon as it was $89.99. I scrolled down and I was like, holy crap. And you made sure it's a rebound. Yep. Um, let's go ahead and check the air that we've got on this guy. About 97? About 97 PSI is what this thing is shipped with. Now, one thing I will say about this fork is there is no air chart on here. So really, it's going to be, a, again, it's going to be a trial. Case. Yeah, there's gonna be a trial and error as to how much we should we should have, you know, the yeah, size what, and everything what's, else. What's got me sketched about it is I don't necessarily want to adjust the sag at thirty percent. That's for sure. At thirty percent, yeah. Because you know, because if it doesn't have a good progressive feel to it, it's gonna 
spot them out really hard the way you ride, so mm. we'll probably have to go like a 10 or 15 percent sag. This is not the amount of travel, this is just the exposed stanchion. It's right at 120 millimeters okay. of... Well, that gives uh, me some hope that it at least has the, the travel. Okay, so we do have a 32 millimeter stanchion, of uh, 31.9 to be specific. Now let's go ahead and take the air out of this. Okay. Here's my question, son. Are we going to cut the steer tube on this knowing that we might have to ship it back? Because if we get a hold of them and say, hey, this is supposed to have rebound, it don't. They don't want to give us any uh, discount on it. Yeah, we might not. We might stay away from cutting the cutting the steer tube. We might tube. have to. That's, you know, going to be a bummer. Wow. Okay. Got all the air out. Now we're going to fill it up to, what, 100? We'll measure it from the compression ring did to the Did you make sure it was down before you did it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was all the way down. Okay. We'll go 100. Yes, I've done this before. It's yeah, at 100. Measure that. Let's see. Should we pull it? Yeah, let's do a quick pull. Okay. okay. Went a tiny bit more. So. Went a tiny bit more. Can you guys see okay. that? Okay. 108. Okay, well, at least we got the travel. Yep, and there's oil right below that. And if I go to that oil line right below it, it's mm -hmm. 105. But so regardless, it's yeah. over 100. Cool. So we do indeed have that. Okay. Now, the cool thing is you can pay. That just pisses me off with the rebound. Like, that's bull. But the cool thing is for all you guys out there that are a balling on a budget, you guys can pay $89.99 for a fork. And again, we're going to be testing this thing out and rating it and seeing how good it is. But if it's a good fork or a decent fork, I mean, you got an air fork that's going to change the uh, way your bike feels completely. Because I remember when I went from coil to air. Yeah, you, you were impressed. But and that was on a fork without any rebound. Let's go ahead and weigh this thing. Let's okay. see how much it weighs. Yeah. And then uh, we'll start on the install with the GT Aggressor. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. The tank. Hi, Mimi. 100 millimeters of travel. Where did the Hi, Mimi part from? That's the brand name. Okay. That was the seller. That was the brand. I was listening to it. Was the seller or the brand? 3.80 pounds. That's pretty damn light. It's relatively light. <laughs> you care? So we got a 1.72 kilogram fork. Which I have no clue if that's good or bad. <laughs> pretty damn light. 3.80 pounds. That's high meme. Tell me, me. <laughs> anyway, let's get that GT Aggressor Pro rolled over here. Let's get this thing installed. We're not going to be cutting the steer tube because I don't know if we're going to be sending this thing back or not. No rebound. All right, guys. So here we are back again with the GT Aggressor Pro. One of the uh, favorite bikes of the channel. This is uh, this is the bike that builds Wolf Tick videos. There's been a few things that we've uh, we've used this bike for and we've tested. One in which is the brakes. This has still got the... Uh, what are they, the HB76s, the four pistons? So we're gonna be putting back the MT420s on this bike. We've also got the tubeless situation, as you guys is saw. Is there so any to... stuff left in it, sealant? I don't, don't think so. Like we it. got sealant, we'll have to add some to it. So uh, we're gonna be doing a few changes with the GT Aggressor Pro, kind of putting it back to how she was, and then we'll tune back in when we are ready to uh, install this fork. We actually just got it. Wow. Good old tubeless. And right. for the record, this bike was has been tubeless for a while now. I mean, since what, I don't know when that was, but it's been, this we didn't just make it tubeless. Yeah, it's been tubeless. And right this there. is what happens. It, it doesn't get used every day. It, you know, you get flats, it loses its bead. It's a mess, the sealant all dried up. The maintenance on it, the maintenance is now taken probably 45 minutes. All right, now I do want to mention, this fork does not come with a star nut. So you're going to need a star nut if you want to install it. Star nut setter that uh, old uh, Sloth Squatch sent us. Sounds like it's bombed out. And it is. So easy. We do have the wrist headset on this bike. And boy, is it smooth. Still. So there's not that much room up there. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I think it'll be alright. Got the 35 millimeter box stem. What do you guys think? About right there? Yeah, that's good enough. Hone the grosser stem cap. 
We're going to have to do the Wolfman Dino. Yeah, Wolfman Dino. We're going to do the Wolfman Dino here shortly. The what? Wolfman Dino. Yes, exactly. So, uh, guys, let me get this all buttoned right back up. Alright guys, time for everybody's favorite segment. Wolfman Dino. Really? Let's get into it. Let's do this. Now you I the do, brakes. Yeah, you can switch the brakes. Now I do want to say, I think this fork looks pretty damn good on this bike, okay? First of all. Second of all, the Hamimi tanked TF300. It's I, I, got 30 clicks up here in order to lock the thing out. Tell me what you think. Compression rings all the way down. Uh, is it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Alright. Well, I'm going to start by saying this. Uh -huh. It's not the worst filling fork that we've ever had okay. from the get. Okay. okay. It's it's actually, it's it's not horrible so okay. far. $89 fork. Now, um, it's got 30 clicks. Okay. Needs rebound. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to make any bit of difference. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Okay, right? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay, we're locked oh. up. <laughs> Oh! Yeah, a couple clicks off it. All right. What the hell? Does it actually change it, son? Well, I'm really, I'm about probably three clicks away from the lockout. Okay, hang on. Go, go all the way. Okay, I'm going to get used to this. I'm not going to look. Okay. All right, now turn it down. Go ahead. Dude, it makes a difference. Does it? Okay, so let me. It makes a difference. Dude, it mm -hmm. makes a difference. It does? Now watch go all the way down. With the same force. Okay. okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, dude. All well, right, guys. Well, that was the install initial impressions of the Tank TF300 Hamimi Air Fork. That does not have rebound. That was listed with rebound. Well, this is actually the end of the official Wolfman Dino. Yes, it, it is, okay? okay? So, appreciate you guys watching. Please like. Please subscribe. Now, let's get to everybody's real favorite segment, a little bit of mail time. Thank you. Okay, let me... Let me, let me. People like this. I know, everybody copies it. Especially old, uh, what's his name? Uh, Home Damn, Home Degressor. Beep, beep, beep. F you, Home Degressor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I don't know who this is from. Hopefully there's some notage in here, okay? Notage. This thing notage. is freaking heavy. I know, I picked it up from the post office. What in the world? You ready? Yeah, I'm doing What in the it. world is this? Is a box? No. Oh. Ready? Is there a note? What? <laughs> Flat out. Who the hell hey, sent Bill that? Kevlar. Holy crap. Is this awesome oh. or what? Who keeps so, talking about flat out? Someone keeps talking about flat out. Is that one of our pay? Who sent this oh. to us? Dude, that's a that is a kit, buddy. I know. But we yeah. I, I got I can't. Pause India. It. Uh I think it I think it was e-bike builder that kept mentioning flat out and use flat out. If working. indeed it was e-bike builder, yeah, thank you so much. Yes. One of our patrons. Yes. Appreciate thank the you. love, man. I think it if not, correct us. This might get us by for a little bit. Can we open this one? Bring Speaking it. of tires, old Rax Man got him the butt just dropped, sent oh, the Continentals Rax a while back. <laughs> also, another one of our patrons. Ooh. Opening job. Oh, oh I, see, I see a big cassette. I see a massive cassette. Eleven speed chain. Oh, eleven. The driller will tell the tale. Will it tell the tale? Yes, old Rax Man got him, man. A Sensa CRX Pro. Oh, oh, you know what? Oh yeah. no, this is the one that's got the chain stabilizer. Yes, why oh no? Check this out, man. I don't know why I don't know. Look at this, guys. <laughs> that right there has got an adjustable switch between low, medium, and max on what kind this. of chain stability you want. Yes, we've been wanting to try this. Man. Well, Raxman, thank you so much for sending yeah, so us this, man. Show the shifter too, no, or, no, we're, we're going to do a review on this. We'll have to do an well, install yeah, review I mean, on this group set. Yeah. Man. Because that's probably going to come to a screeching halt right well, there. Well, this has your name on it, so <laughs> I'm sure it's a screeching halt. It's a drunken eBay. Person. All right, what do we got? Uh, Wolfman is DVDs. Uh, what the hell is oh, that? Oh, is that my... Clint oh, Eastwood. Dude. 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 Clint Eastwood collection. Who's Clint Eastwood? <laughs> I'm come just on. kidding. All in one collection. That's volume three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go ahead. Make my day. Let's see if we know who this is from. Okay. Oh. Is You're going to freak oh, out when you see what no. this is. Okay. You guys are going to freak out. Hey, Tick, I'm sending you some blank. 
put it in a good blank and it can heal up blanks up to half an inch, buddy. I bet you some gummy worms. They'll get the Trail Kings rolling down Hayes Creek from E-Bike Builder. So oh. who sent the first flat out? Because so is... here's another flat out. Wow. <laughs> So that's so. This is E-Bike Builder. Who was the first one then? I don't know. Well, we e are Builder. all hooked up on flat out. Dude, Wolf Teak Nation's the best. Dude, who sent the gallon of a uh, of flat out? And then I we got. It. Then we is got that e -bike. supposed to wait for Christmas on that? I don't know what the hell this is. Yeah. Also came with the flat out. Oh, cool! Some little uh, valve stems and a uh, valve stem remover. Awesome, man. That is freaking awesome. E-Bike Builder, one of our patrons. Thank you, man. We're hooked up. We're hooked up flat out. We're flat I out. I can't wait to test it. We're going to test it flat out. Oh, stuff. there you go. Yeah. I'm all giddy with the way we get treated by our... It's awesome, man. Wolf Tick Nation. All right, this one here. Oh, wow. What? No, it's not. This is from another one of our patrons. Okay. Okay, this is Homegirl. Homegirl. Homegirl from Down Under. Oh, Joel it's Joe our, LaRossi. It's Joe LaRossi. That smells like jerky. Now, guys, get this crap. Joe LaRossi is a, uh, I believe, owns a tattoo shop in Australia. Okay, old Down Under. And we have been talking about <laughs> oh, some kangaroo jerky. Joe LaRossi. Oh, no man. way. Yes. Oh, wow. We're going to have to try that on Patreon first. And then, uh, yeah. Wow, exotic Might jerky. Might be a patron exclusive. Made in the USA. What? That's what it says. Oh, what's up with that? Is they protected there or something? I don't know. I don't know. They're in damn the UK. Dude, that's awesome. Joe LaRossi, thank you so much for the kangaroo Home jerky. Girl. Man, I can't wait. Homegirl from down under. Yeah. You good. call that a knife? <laughs> Now look, this one right here is very interesting. From Ben's mom, Heather, and okay. uh, he's the parachute packer. Yeah, oh yeah. 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 So I have so no clue what bike. this is. We got some notage. Yeah, notage, thank you. Hello, my son Ben recently had his feature his bike featured on your viewers' rides. He did. He's the parachute packing kid. There you go. Here in Rogers, <laughs> here in Rogers, we have an amazing little used bookstore, the friendly bookstore, that benefits our public library. As I was browsing the other day, I pulled the signed book off the shelf and immediately knew it needed to make its way to y'all. The Ticks bike name plus Wolfman's love of books, photography, art, it just had to happen. Enjoy. Oh, I'm Heather. excited. P.S. The enclosed picture is from our six-year-old Max, who all also loves your videos. Oh, wow. Whoa. Cool, man. Dude, I'm dying over Check here. Check it out. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you. All right. Max, a little uh, happy balloon there. All right. And there we go. What do we got here, man? Max and Ben with a smiley face. I'm going with that's the wolf man right there. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's the dad or whoever. That That's wolf man. Look at That's a beard. It's got to be a beard. <laughs> Max, thank you so much. Man, we're going to have to hang this up on the wall. Yep. And uh, Heather, I'm excited about the book. That's the back. What in the world? It's small paintings from the Cheech Marin, Marin collection. <laughs> that's great. Are you serious? What the hell are the chances, Heather? It's signed by Cheech. That's what she was saying. It's signed by him. 2016. Dude. Wow. Dude, that is awesome. Dude, look at the signature. That you want to try so... re-pronouncing re that? No. <laughs> Chicanitas. Wow. Go. Heather, Max, Ben, uh, so happy that we could show Ben's ride and the way to earn your yes. ride again, pal. And Max, thank you so much for the drawing. Yes, We're going to put you. that up there. And, and thank you for the book. That is perfect, Heather. Uh, this here was just says Wolftick Videos. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, we got oh, some oh, notage. Oh, noted. A gift for you. Enjoy your gift. From old big brother Kevin H. Oh. 29 by 2.5 inch tires. Okay. American classic wow. tubeless ready tires. Oh god. Dude, he finds he finds stuff that's a little like, Look at he that, finds guys. stuff that's different. Like it's well he's the one that sent popular. us the Deliums, you know? Yeah. We got some okay, more. Let's see the front of that one. Is it Okay, that's Vulcanite. This is Tectonite. Okay, so 27.5 by 2.5, and that one there is 29 by 2.5. So I wonder if he's intended this to go on the mullet. Oh, mullet? Yeah. yeah. Well, Chuck, mullet. you sent some mullet tires, so Chuck we'll have you. to do a little bit of action on that. Look at that. Wow. Oh, big brother Kevin H., Dude, thank you so much for the feels, tires. Uh, yeah, they legit. feel legit. They feel very legit. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Wow. I believe. No, no, for sure. We haven't opened it. I believe that's the tool. Now, going back a few videos ago, mm -hmm. you guys remember we had the tool. Wolf Ticks top 10 tools you need. Yeah. We said, hey, whoever, the first person to come up with the tool that we decide to order, yeah, the tools that, yeah, we don't have one of those, we could use one of those, is going to win one of the 
Geo handguards, uh, the Durella guard by Geo. Durella guard by Geo. We haven't tested it yet. We plan on testing one yeah, out. We had to the do this trail. one first and then kind of do it yeah, after. Yeah. So, but uh, but anyway, we had to order the tool for them to qualify to win. Yep. And here's the problem. You decide. I didn't order it. You ordered it, and you happened to pick one that was in China. It was in China, and it took way long. And we'll tell you who the winner is once I show you guys. Look at it. Look at it. Would you look at that? This here is a derailleur alignment tool that we paid, uh, I think, thirty-eight dollars for. Well, you said it's one of the more budget so. style. And um, do you want to say the winner's name? The winner's name, I believe, was is it Dimmy MTB? Dimmy MTB, congratulations! You've won yourself a D -I -M -I -M -T -B. derailleur. D I M I M T B. Yes, you won yourself a derailleur guard by Geo. And Geo, thank you guys so much yes, for supplying thank you, us Geo. that. So we'll definitely be uh, installing ours. And Dimmy MTB, you've got one. So let us know in the comments. Uh, yes. We'll go back and forth. We'll give you an email so you can yeah. you can get it sent to you. Buck loose, buck loose, buck loose. They said, hey guys. You know, you do fair and honest reviews. Uh -huh. And we think, you know, we have some other stuff besides what you've reviewed so far. And they said, pick out something you think you could use and review. And we said, well, we're just now getting ready to do a 26 inch dirt jumper. They said, well, we got just the product for you. Now hold that real quick. Let's get another plastic and we'll show them. All right, guys, here we go. Just the other day, somebody said, hey, do you guys, um, you know, what kind of uh, wheel sets and things do you talk about whenever you talk about a budget wheel set? This wheel set is $169. It's with a free that? hub. Yeah, just double checked it. With a free hub, double wall insulated. What I like about it is it looks like it's pretty, it will handle some abuse. I think it's a 30, I don't know if it's a 32? 36, 32 maybe? I'm not sure. We'll be doing the um, basically initial impressions and the install on this because we're getting all of our parts together for the uh, Durham, the 26 inch bike, the dirt jumper. And this is going to be it. This is a six bolt disc. Hopefully. One, 169 guys. The price will I'll put some links down in the description below so you guys can check that and out. They have other sizes, right? Yeah, they have all the way up to 29. All right, Bucklows, thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching Wolf Tick videos as always. All the Wolf Tick Nation showing a little bit of love. Thank you guys so much. And whoever sent the big old gallon the of flat out, gallon of flat out, let us know, man. We got some tires, some wheel sets, some books, yeah. uh, some tools. Very cool, man. Well, guys, please like, please subscribe. We will see you on the next one, Wolf Tick Nation. Yeah. yeah.